entre las dificultades que tenemos, tenemos que siempre perseverar y luchar y, y siempre tener la confianza en aquel quien llevó todo en, en aquella cruz para nuestra salvación. Murió por mí, rodó su sangre y por su sangre hoy creo que soy salvo por su misericordia, por su gracia. Y esto lo, es mi historia de lo que he recibido de Dios. When we came to Guatemala and um, we didn't know anyone, we came into the village. I wanted to share the gospel, but at the same time I was really scared. Uh, there was a school being built in one of the villages and there was two construction workers uh, that were working on it. And so I would kind of go towards them, like I'm going to share the gospel. And then I get a little scared and I just kind of walk around them. And it got to the point where I got hungry. And so um, I bought like a family pack of uh, chicken and I decided that I was going to go and just eat with them and, uh, and, and talk to them about Jesus. And uh, I just, I made it like a dead bolt, like I'm just going to walk straight to them and uh, ask them if they wanted to eat. And um, they said, yeah. And so I just, that's kind of how it started. Moving to Guatemala was nerve wracking at first, but it's something that I had been prepared to do. More than anything, the church is confused. There's such a need for healthy churches to be planted. And especially in places like this in rural Guatemala, where there aren't very many churches, much less healthy churches. We originally didn't come to, uh, to plant a church, we came um, to share the gospel. It kind of got to the point where there was uh, several people accepting Christ as their savior that, that I realized um, that, hey, we, we need to, if we want this thing to, to last or, or to go beyond a man and I, then we need to raise up uh, pastors, we need to raise up uh, deacons and leaders. Acts 29 played a, a pivotal role in, in, in our story. Um, when, when we came down and, and we just wanted to share the gospel and we saw people starting to get saved. Um, I really didn't know uh, anything about how to plant a church um, at all. I mean, I couldn't have even told you what the difference between a Bible study and a church was. Uh, and so th the assessment process was unbelievably thorough and unbelievably great. We have probably about 25 adults that, uh, that are members and probably around 20 to 30 um, kids. Um, that, that, come, that come to church. Some of the, the, the villagers just started giving and, and asking how they can give. So a lot, most of our tithes are in corn, uh, bean. Um, we've been given a, given a pig and, and, and raised it and sold it uh, and, and used those funds to, to buy you know, chairs or, or, or take care of different needs within the congregation. I think the biggest encouragement to me is Caetano and his family and just seeing how God has transformed their lives and how he's continuing to use them to be a part of what we're doing here. Eh, mi nombre es Cayetano Cardona y vivo acá en el parcelamiento Los Chilitos, un lugar donde hemos trabajado mucho. Eh, esta es mi humilde casa. Soy esposo de una esposa acá, donde hemos trabajado, padre de cinco hijos. Es triste y difícil vivir en una comunidad, en una aldea como esta. O sea, hay que salir muy lejos para trabajar y tener uno el dinero para comprar azúcar, jabón, para tener frijol, por lo menos, y su maíz para la tortilla sacrificarse uno demasiado, personas que aguantan, personas que mueren muy pronto. Antes de conocer a Cristo Jesús, mi vida no era correctamente bien, pero surgió algo muy alegre porque vi a unos hermanos que vinieron a esta aldea y primera fue mi esposa la que ella recibió ese mensaje. Y una tarde ellos vinieron a mi casa, comenzaron a, a predicar y a orar y me dijeron si quería aceptar a Cristo. Y yo entró algo a mi corazón muy fuerte y les dije, sí, quiero aceptar a Cristo. Eh, 
el deseo es salir con pasión e ir a predicar el Evangelio alrededor de nuestra aldea, Huilapa o Arberena, eh, como muchos lugares alrededor. Eh, ese es mi anhelo, seguir a Cristo con pasión y salir, salir con pasión a predicar su palabra, sea aquí, sea allá, sea donde Él quiera. I feel like if we only planted one church, it, it would kind of be like a failure uh, in the sense that um, we, I feel like I wouldn't have trained them correctly to be able to make disciples and make disciples and make disciples. There's so many villages and there's so many people that don't know Jesus and uh, there's so many people, uh, there's just a lot of people who are lost, you know, and there's a lot of people who um, are, are sinking into an eternal darkness. And so we're called to push back what's dark in this world and give people an opportunity to, to be saved. We're, we're in a battle over the eternal destiny of immortal souls. I mean, we have to, to, to give people an opportunity to know Jesus as their savior. Whether they're born in a village or, or a city or, or wherever they might be in, in, in any corner of the world, that there would be a, a church there that they could go to and hear the gospel and be saved. So we can't just, it can't end here. We have, we have to go.